Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Now, before I get started, I do know that some of you guys in my last Talking Head video, um, I had like one or two comments that, that just kind of seemed a little bit aggravated that I did it. I did have some comments of people saying they actually really like this format. Either way, just please understand that at least in this instance, there's no way that I could get another video out. It's almost 10 o'clock right now. My videos typically take many, many hours. Um, kind of had decided not to even do a video today, but then while I was looking through some stuff, I just got really excited. I really like talking about this stuff with you guys. And like I said, I just flat don't have enough time. But with that said, I do have a normal, uh, regular video coming out tomorrow. I normally do a video every other day, so I'm going to be having one tomorrow and today. And if it weren't for this format, I flat couldn't do it tonight. Anyway, with all that out of the way, um, let's just get right into it. No sponsors, none of that. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Anyway, I've got a couple stories for you today, and first up, we have a couple Geekbench benchmarks that were tweeted out by Momomo, Momomomo U.S. Uh, it's a Twitter account who finds some pretty crazy benchmarks, and they found a couple for us today. Really interesting, and the first one we're going to look at is actually going to be a 10-core, 20-thread Intel CPU. Now, there's a couple things that I do want to note. For one, this says uh, LGA 1151. That's not true. It should be the 2066. I mean, it even says Skylake X. So I mean, obviously this is not making any sense. And because of that, um, and, and I'll actually explain why I know for a fact uh, that this isn't, you know, going to be like their next normal processor besides the fact that it says Skylake X. And it's a, that's actually not correct either. I believe it's Cascade Lake X. Anyway, um, we, we first off, we know it's not Skylake X because this is a Model 85 Stepping 7. Skylake X, I believe, is on Stepping 4 or 5. No, I think the new... I believe it's on 4. Either way, it's absolutely not Skylake X. Um, this should be the newest Cascade Lake X processors for their new Core X CPUs. Anyway, you can see that this one has a base frequency of 3.39 gigahertz and a boost of 4.59. Now, we don't know for sure if that's correct, and I'll also get to that in a second, but we should be able to go based on the score performance. So this is Intel's upcoming new 10-core 20-thread CPU, and it got a single-core score of 5,468 and a multi-core score of 39,820. Certainly not bad, although not that great. Let me explain. When we move over and look at uh, Andy's current, and now I really, really quickly, I do want to note that this, you know, this is a pre production model, 0000, but at the same time, from all the rumors, from all uh, any, every single indication that I've seen, these should be coming out pretty soon. So this should be really close to the final product. This this really should be about what we should expect performance wise. Now, let's check out the 3900X. And I know what you're thinking, gamer meld, you're comparing a 12 core to a 10 core processor. Yes, but give me a second. For one, I'm gonna go ahead and sort this via multi-core score. So page one, highest score, final page, lowest score. And let's just go in just a little bit right let's see right here is where it was page 167 bottom bottom scores it ends up beating right there so when we go more the middle of the i don't even feel like going that far let's just say it's going to be quite a bit more now i can hear you once again gamer meld you're comparing a 12 core processor to a 10 core one but when we check out the price of their current 9900X, their 10-core Skylake X processor, we're looking at over $900. Then we move over just a little bit, and that 12-core processor is only $500. Massive difference, talking half the price here. And we can actually even do this with the 3800X. This is an 8-core processor, and you can see 42,000, obviously that, once again, is not representative, but luckily there aren't nearly as many benchmarks here. So getting towards the middle, almost 36,000 compared to almost 40,000. So not that far off, yet quite a bit cheaper. When that said, obviously these are platform differences on the Skylake X, or excuse me, Cascade Lake X platform, there's going to be quite a bit more that they offer um, as far as PCI Express lanes, things like that. But at the same time, AMD, if you, I don't know why I went 
back to that page, it doesn't really matter, but uh, the AMD processor, if you get the 500X570 chipset, you get PCI Express 4.0. So for anyone with workstations that really need fast SSDs, that's a massive benefit. So we have, you know, power benefit for the same, for half the price. And then we also have a few other benefits. Once again, Intel does have some benefits as well. And I'll also really quickly point back to the fact that this is not a final uh, version, but at the same time, we're expecting it pretty soon. So this should be about as close to the final production score that we can expect. Now, if we go back and go down here, we can see another processor and let's see, let's just pull it up over here. As you can see in this is, let's see, let's see. This is, uh, this is one reason why I know for a fact that that last one was wrong. This is in 18 core, 36 thread processor. And yet it still says it's the socket 1151 Skylake X. Obviously that previous one isn't correct because it also said the 1151 and there's no way that their mainstream line is going to go all the way up to 18 cores. So clearly the last one really is a Cascade Lake X processor because once again, it said the same Skylake X and then socket 1151 um, LGA. And obviously there's no way that that's the case. Anyway, so this should be Intel's updated 18 core Cascade Lake X processor. Now, when we go to the score here, you can see it's got a single core score of 5,387, multi-core score of 54,597. What's interesting about this is that we also have a Geekbench score for AMD's upcoming, should be launching next month, Ryzen 16 core processor. You can see it right here. And once again, 54,597. And we look here and it completely dominates it at multi-core score processing. Once again, this is a 16 core 32 thread versus an 18 core 36 thread processor. And for those who don't know, their current 18 core Core X processor is right around two thousand dollars while amd's upcoming 16 core chip should be i believe it was 750 dollars so we're talking about a massive difference here and yet it still loses now hold on one second i know what you're thinking if you've already seen these that is when we go down here you can see that the maximum frequency is 3.28 gigahertz that's obviously extremely low, and because of that, people are probably thinking, hey, this is just a pre-release model. Clearly, this is nowhere near as powerful as, as it's going to be, but check this out. When we compare it to the current, let's see, and, uh, this is actually on the Dell Precision 5820, which is the same exact thing that the other model was tested on. So we got it as close as we possibly could at 4.49 gigahertz. Yes, it did lose, but it didn't lose by that much and then we're, we're talking 4.49 gigahertz versus 3.28 i did the math i believe it was 44 it was something over 40 percent i'm almost positive it was 44 percent higher uh maximum frequency versus this one and yet it still scored higher both in multi-core and in single core so you're telling me that in uh once again or i don't believe i mentioned this but this is supposedly from everything that we've seen should be based flat out on 14 nanometers plus plus i don't really know exactly where it's at at this point but still 14 nanometers if this is the actual frequency that would mean that at the same exact 14 nanometer or you know slightly better as we've seen in the past it got over 50 percent better performance because once again 44 percent uh, better frequency and yet score or this one has a 44% better frequency yet scored less than this one. So we're talking, it would have to be over 50% more powerful to get a kind of score like this, just crazy numbers here. So there's no way that this down here is correct. And for those who don't know, Geekbench is kind of known for kind of screwing up on a lot of things, frequency, things like that. So it likely is past four gigahertz here. Which, once again, it actually scored quite a bit better than their previous generation processor, but it also scored quite a bit less for a processor that's going to be over half the price, more than likely, unless they're able to seriously lower pricing. 
So yeah, um, that was actually just a really quick thing that I really wanted to show everyone. Unfortunately, I, I think I did mention two stories, but it's actually just going to be one story or you could look at both of these as two stories. Either way, this is the one that I really, really wanted to get out today. So if you liked the video, please subscribe. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. And as always, have a great day.